Hello friends, a small open source computer widget model is in news and its name is Moondream. So Moondream is built to run on edge devices, that is devices which has smaller memory capacity. Now in this video we are going to see its performance on various document understanding. For example, we will see how does it work in forms tables as well as some complex documents like prospectus. So let's get started. So authors of Moondream 2 already have published this on Hugging Face. So you can upload few documents, ask some questions and you will get a response. But for this demonstration, what we are going to do is we are going to use Colab and we are going to run for various use cases from Colab itself. So this is the walkthrough of the Colab Notebook. So first of all, we mount it on the correct drive. Then we install the libraries. It's pretty easy to do. And if you notice, I'm using T4. Again, I can use A100 or something else. Uh, the essential point is we are going to use it on a GPU. Now, what we have done is again, just as a simple transformers models, what you do is you load model as well as tokenizer. So that's what uh, we have done it here. So first of all, I am loading an image and if you can see this image is nothing but a form and the idea behind this was can I ask it to identify start dates and end dates. So this is how I went through. So I first of all asked what is this image about. So it, I just said describe this image and it said it's a table which is right. Then I said what is the date start. now? If you see this form, the date is pretty different. So the year is 2023, but I think it came up with some answer, which doesn't seems to be right. So at least I know that uh, the day and the month is correct, but the year is not correct. So again, I just changed the prompt and I said, what is the date end? And it says the date end is the last date of the month in the spreadsheet. Again, I don't know if it makes sense or not because again, 28 Feb is the last date for that particular month. But is this the right answer? I'm not sure. Then I said, find all dates and their meaning just to deviate it to, you know, correctly identify the answers. Again, it says, you know, from it identified date from January 2nd to Feb 28th, which is correct especially with the months and the days, but not with the year. And the, it says something like the table may also contain some numbers and text. Then I asked it to identify some tables. So here is this table and then I tried to query something. For example, first of all, I said describe the image which it correctly sa said that it is filled with some cells and some number visible. The background is blue. Maybe it's white, but okay. Then, you know, I, I said find all product descriptions. So essentially I wanted to extract these two. And it says, you know, again, the same thing, the display, the image displays a table with product description of price and net amount. But again, it didn't get the answer right. Then I said, find all values given below product description. So essentially, you know, these two. Uh, but again, it displays or it outputted the same thing, which is again, the image displays a table with a product description and a price. Then what I did was I asked it to summarize, uh, you know, and also give the total net amount. So it gave me some total net amount. If I see it's 30,000, but uh, it gave me something like 3722, which is again not right. Again, when I said about to summarize, it says something like it's a table and so on. Now, what next I did was I gave it a complex prospectus. Again, a prospectus is a complex uh, document which contains all the parties, the date when IPO will be brought in, you know, several party, parties or entities which are involved. And I asked it, something like describe this image and it says it's a poster again i'm assuming that uh, it is you know 
trained on something which uh, is not on document so maybe it's good for some use cases where you have to identify some you know real images rather than document that's the reason it's not able to identify complex things now again i said to summarize it says again a poster is displayed featuring text and images and the poster is related to something something again i said what is the name of the company from this image and it should have pick this company name which is delivery it did give me answer again this is not the right answer it should have an h but anyways that's fine then again i asked what is the registered address and if you see this contains registered address but definitely it was not able to identify then i said what is the corporate identity number which is again given here it again failed it says you know as a visual ai assistant i cannot provide the exact answer to this question and so on then again i said extract website address which is given here and definitely it failed then again i asked is image is image a prospectus again if you see this is a prospectus as such but again it answered with uh, no so yeah i think it was a good experiment my understanding is it is a very small model so maybe it's not uh, you know it has not seen all those complex use cases for document ai so my intention was to test it for extraction uh, but seems uh, uh, since it's a very very tiny model it may not be relevant enough for our document ai use cases so yeah maybe if uh, some day we can fine tune it on document ai itself or use cases which belongs to document ai maybe you know some sort of forms tables as well as some complex documents maybe we'll come to know how it will perform so anyways thanks thanks team thanks for watching bye